Hi everyone, welcome back. This is another Doxy tutorial. I'm your host Tal and I'm going to be guiding you through how to use one of our powerful features called Vocally. Now Vocally is a feedback analytical feature which allows all of our users to collect feedback on how their customers are interacting with their documentation. Now why is this important? Is because the more information that you have about your docs, the more you can optimize them, improve them, and make them overall more comprehensive and understandable by your customers, and thus making the experience of using your products a lot more enjoyable. Now let's get started on how to use Vocally. Now Vocally can easily be accessed through this button right here, so where you see more with the three dots under your workspace, web analytics however before we jump into vocally i wanted to add it to this specific knowledge portal now the, i will show in a second why i wanted to add it there but last episode i showed you guys how to publish your knowledge portals via our online cloud or through an embedded code now today i will show you that you can publish with this simple button right here and now I'm going to press publish to your web portal and here you can set up the languages I'm gonna make it as primary and publish excellent now let us jump into our deployment and right here at the bottom is the exact portal that I just published let's click it open excellent now this is what I wanted to publish and in this case I want you to imagine that my client is looking at my portal or one of your clients for instance is looking at one of your knowledge portals and they're scrolling through they're collecting information um, and then they come to this point and they want to copy and paste but it doesn't work because this is a picture um, and then they wonder why is this not copy and pasteable but for instance other aspects are like for instance this this right here I can copy and paste this and these are also codes um, so they wonder what's going on and they just don't like that they can copy this but for some reason that one part they can't copy and they start getting a little frustrated so they can leave user feedback right here so they're a bit annoyed so let's say we leave this kind of feedback I was a bit frustrated because I could not copy some of your code and why is that important well for many reasons if you're working in the IT side and you're selling a SaaS product and there's a bunch of code and you have only pictures, it could be quite frustrating retyping all the code all over again. So I can understand this kind of feedback. Done. And they send that. Now, the great thing about Doxy is it collects this feedback and a video. So I can see why my customer or my client was so frustrated. And this is super important. So I come here. To web analytics and this is the dashboard and this was the exact message that was sent just now and you can literally play a video okay, let's speed it up eight times and we can go through the video why they were frustrated this is how they were going through the portal let's actually slow it a bit down press play right here and let's see this is them going through the video and then see right here right there this is the problem right here they had an issue so how can I fix that to optimize my doc my doxy portal so that my clients can be happy with it it's not an issue at all actually so right here I actually did add this on my own to show you this example I'm going to delete this and I'm going to replace it with the ability to add code and I do have the code right here let me just paste it in there we go now they can add this code onto the project that they're working on and it's not an issue and I can publish this again 
via the interactive portal part 2.2 if I want or you can change the name to whatever and also remember that you can create another version which you can have active or not active so keep this in mind as well when you're doing edits this is very useful now because we have copy and pasted this in a special code block they will not have this issue anymore and of course we would need to fill out Django is connected to Python technology so we'll need to fill figure that out, fill that out so now let's jump onto our deployment not there but here at the bottom 2.2 and the next time that they scroll on this content they will have no issue it's right here they can copy and paste this code with ease no issue at all right there copy so this is just a simple example of how to use Doxy's feedback feature. Now let's take another deep dive into the feedback analytics and see what we can do with this. So these are recorded videos. It shows us what's the rating and the little note about what they thought. Also, if you go to configurations, you can connect this to email, Slack, Mattermost, Zandesk, Zapier, you can change it from this to stars or whatever you you find inter more interesting for you and you can also when you have your company name here and like i showed you before when you're publishing with one line of code you can add this code so that your doxies all have the feedback right there you can do automatic record or you can take this off in some countries it is not legal to automatically record for instance in europe so that's why we have the, this option but if you are able to and it's legal for you it's a really amazing tool that you can use now if it's not automatically recorded that's a different story but if it is we find that it helps a lot of our customers understand what their clients like enjoy or do not like about their documentation and then they optimize it to help them explain certain features or present the content in a certain way which jives well with their clients now i have written a blog about the benefits of collecting feedback you can check it out and also if you want to learn more about how to use vocally come on to help.doxy.io and click right here gather feedback and this will guide you through the whole information that you need to get you started Thank you for your time. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. On the next video, I'm going to be explaining how to password protect your docs with Doxy. And we'll get you started with that. Thank you and have an amazing day.